My name is Shivaram Swami. I'm the spiritual head of the Krishna Consciousness Movement, a branch of Hinduism in Hungary, Romania, and Turkey. This uh, whole episode is very moving for me because in 1956 uh, I left Hungary uh, during the Hungarian Revolution with my parents and I remember my father uh, and uh, knocking on the doors in Austria trying to get entrance uh, to have someone actually let us in and give us shelter. Finally after the third door someone did let us in. So I know what it means to be a migrant. I know what it means to be a refugee. From there we went to Canada and also what it means to be nicely accepted uh, when you are without anything. Uh, because of my own personal experience, uh, I was very touched when I started to hear this real backlog of migrants, especially in Kelaty train station. So I, I, I went. Uh, I went down to actually see uh, what was needed, what were these people thinking, what were they saying. Uh, I met with very uh, intelligent, cultured uh, people, families. Uh, I spoke to them. And uh, at that point, we really increased uh, the amount of care that we tried to give uh, to these uh, people. As for statistics, uh, we do what we can because we're doing this uh, without any additional financial support from anywhere. We've distributed in the last month 5,000 plates of hot food. Uh, we also provided almost two tons uh, of uh, different types of uh, produce, fruit, and so on. And then I went myself with uh, my whole pockets were bursting with uh, little uh, chocolate bars, uh, handing them out to the kids. Uh, and we try to do our best. And over and beyond just feeding them, we found that these people, they were not necessarily just poor. They needed more moral comfort, spiritual comfort, someone to talk to, someone to sympathize with them, someone to say, you're welcome here. We like you, we love you. Uh, we recognize that you have rights as a human being. And in order to actually help uh, bring a little peace in their really troubled lives, uh, we did what we do everywhere is chant Hare Krishna. And uh, we had a wonderful reception uh, for that. Uh, all of these uh, people, most of them of Muslim faith, but they immediately recognized that here was something in which they could really find some succor. And that was, uh, that was a very touching experience and was something that we do on a regular basis. As far as dealing with people who are different from us, we don't see any difference. Uh, the difference is the way we look, the difference may be religion, the difference may be culture, but ultimately spiritually we're all the same. Bodies are always going to be different. They're always going to have a different color, they're always going to be born, speak a different language, there's so many differences. Uh, unless we actually are trained and educated to see the spiritual oneness of everyone, there's always going to be some kind of crisis for some kind of reason. There has been in the past and there will be in the future. As far as threat, uh, I don't really see that these people are any more of a threat than any other type of people than the Hungarians here. If I'm walking down the street, uh, in Hungary there are criminals, there may be criminals uh, in other groups, but it isn't that 
these people are criminals just because they're coming and fleeing from somewhere else, rather than just the opposite. They're very vulnerable people, and they're people who really need a, a lot of help. So by no means did I encounter anyone who uh, was a threat to me, and this is how I went to talk to them. As far as worrying about European identity, for us, this is another material designation. What is this European identity? Uh, Europe's identity has been changing ever since Europe's been here. Uh, here, what we're looking at is, are these peace-loving people who are willing to work hard, who are really willing to contribute uh, and give value uh, to this continent? If so, then we should embrace them. Uh, and how will we find out? We'll find out by meeting them, by talking to them, uh, by looking at their bona fides. And my experience is that these are very cultured people, very gentle people, uh, educated people, uh, and they certainly have a, a lot to give to European culture, which is declining in terms of population growth, and we're trying to figure out who is actually going to do all the work that the Europeans need to get done. These people are ready, they're screaming for jobs, they want employment, and they're qualified to do it. But peace requires two main elements. In Sanskrit, uh, they're called aham and mama. Or rather, the misconception that I'm this body, and as I had mentioned before, and the differences uh, in this body makes differences or causes of conflict between us. And uh, the other is mama, is that something is mine. So education needs to be there, firstly, that we understand that we're not these bodies, that we're spiritual entities, and spiritually, everyone is equal. Christian, Muslim, Hindu, Buddhist, everyone is the same. Everyone is the same spiritual entity. My clothes may be different, but the body's the same. Without this education, these problems will continue. And Mama, nothing is ours. European identity, there's a continent we call Europe, but God didn't call it Europe when he created it. Neither did he create any borders amongst countries, we created all of these uh, artificial things. We have to recognize that everything belongs to God. And God has given everyone rights. Every human being has a certain quota. They have right. And we have to recognize that people have rights and there is plenty. We here in Europe, what is our Europe culture? We're living more than what actually even Europe can provide. Uh, we don't necessarily live by what we need, we live by what we want. And if we cut down our wants a little, uh, then we'll be able to provide other people with what they need also. So recognizing our spiritual identity and seeing that everything belongs to God and God is allotted particular quota, particular amount to everyone. If we follow laws of God, then there will be enough for everyone.